simplified term that contains x to the exponent 9 in the expansion of the binomial given here. We don't want to expand the entire binomial until we find the term containing x to the 9, so we want to determine what term would have x to the 9 in it. So rather than you know, expanding everything, we're going to look for the pattern of exponents, so we're going to ignore the coefficient. So I'm not going to write the combinations in for each coefficient. Rather, I'm going to jump to just writing down the first two terms and we'll put in the pattern of the exponents. I want to do this at least for the first three terms that I would have be finding because then you can find a pattern and we'll put in the exponents. So we would count from 9, 8, 7 and we would continue if we needed. On the second term in the binomial we always start with 0 and count up. So let's evaluate our exponents. So x squared to the ninth power gives us x to the 18. Anything to the exponent 0 is 1. We have x to the 16 over x. And here we have x to the 14 over um, x squared. Now I ignored the 2. 2 squared, if I chose, I could put the 4 in here. But I'm ignoring the coefficients and just looking for the pattern of exponents. So it's a good idea to show that in my work that I'm just showing the pattern. So if we continue to simplify our exponents here, we'll subtract these exponents. And if we look at the pattern, we can see that it is decreasing by 3. So the exponents decrease by 3. So if I was to continue this pattern, the next term would be x to the 9, which happens to be the term I'm looking for. Otherwise, I would have to continue counting until I find the term I need. So we are going to find the fourth term. Okay, so to find the fourth term, we're going to choose our combination. 9 is our, our n value. If we're, our r value is always one less than the term we are finding because we would count up. In fact, you can see that it would be 0, 1, 2, 3. r is 3. We'll put in our first term out of the binomial, our second term out of the binomial. The second exponent and the r value are always the same for the same reason as we would count out 0, 1, 2. So that would be 3 would be next. These need to add to 9, so this will be a 6. Now we can simplify this. 9c3, you can use your calculator or the formula. Multiply your exponents. 2 cubed is 8 over x cubed. 84 times 8, 672. Subtract your exponents, x to the 9. Our goal was to find a term containing x to the 9, so we need to make sure our answer matches what we talked about in the question, which it does.